Welcome back to the Patriots Wrap with Andy Gresh. So all is right in the world. The Patriots top seed, they won. So everyone freaking out for those two weeks, uh, all for nothing, right? I know, right? <laughs> like your your undefeated talk went up and poof, <laughs> and now it was Gronk. And look, I never envisioned Gronk playing as much as he did I know. this past week. And hey, it was what, 60% of the yep. snaps? So that's a big step forward for Rob Gronkowski and a big step forward for this offense. When he's back in the lineup, you saw it last night, just how much more it ticks. Um, waiting on Edelman, when, we don't know when he's going to return, but now that Gronk's back, are they 80% there, 75%? Uh, I'm not so sure I'd even go that far, quite honestly, because I think, Yanni, when you look at the run game, it's really based on the offensive line, and I don't think we can sit here with any certainty and say – we know who the five offensive linemen are going to be and that we know the best five offensive linemen. So I think they're still, you know, they're probably 55, 60% offensively. We'll see what happens with LeGarrette Blount. I'm not as worried right. about that because you can find running backs and they've done that before. You need Edelman back, but more importantly, you need Edelman back to be him. Mm. I don't want to see him on the field right. until he can run those return routes and run the double moves because he's not effective if he isn't. With Gronk, I want his presence out there as soon as I can. So I think we're not going to see this offense really clicking until that second week of January when they're in the playoffs. How about that Patriots defense last night holding the Texans to six points, getting to the quarterback. It's, a, it's been a while since we've seen a pass rush this good from the Patriots. Yeah, and it's consistent, and it's coming from different spots. It's not just like what we saw in Oakland where it was Khalil Mack just right. eating up a right tackle and getting five sacks. It's Chandler Jones. It's Jabal Sheard. It's Knicks. It's, you got all these guys now who have the ability to get after the, the pass rusher or to get after the quarterback. And look, they've got the ability to mix and match inside. Hey, if these guards can't pass mm -hmm. pro, let's put Easley in there. Let's put Sheard in there. Let's go with the faster group. Let's kick Jones down inside. If we think we can eat someone up a tackle or an offensive line conceptually can't deal with blitzes, there's a bunch of different ways they can attack people. And let's remember, one of the guys who's really good at getting after the quarterback and Dante Hightower hasn't been on the field in a month. Right. Injury status right now, Devin McCourty's got an ankle, but they're saying it's not season ending. Um, we talked about LeGarrette Blunt. Yep. Easily went out. Are you worried about the health going forward? Oh, absolutely. You have to be because that's the biggest factor for every team right now is what is the health moving forward. And the teams who are going to get healthy are the teams that are going to trend. Look, the Seattle Seahawks, I know they lost Jimmy Graham. I think pulling him out of their offense has actually helped, but they're healthy for the first time in a long time, and we're seeing it in their play. So, yes, I think the teams that have the ability to make the deep run in January are going to be the healthiest. Now, right. not everybody's going to be 100%, but it's can I get a representative group on the field that I can function with and play at a high level? And I think the Patriots will be able to do that, even though they got a bunch of different guys, especially on the outside, coming back. All right, we're just getting started with Andy Gresh. Coming up on the Patriots wrap, we'll check on the rest of the day in sports and more from Gresh on the rest of the NFL, including the Bengals and Broncos. Right if you don't ask this. me about Shady McCoy, I will take it out on you. <laughs> All righty, we'll do that right after this.